Adam, wake up, bro. I know you're still alive. Yo, wake your ass up before Frankenstein and his bride come down here and finish us both off. I got the key to free you, bruh. You know that wake your ass up. You go to keys, bro. What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot this video a like. And if you happen to be a new viewer here to the channel, shoot that subscribe button as well as that bell icon to get all the content updates here to the channel. In this video, I will be giving you all my trailer breakdown for Saw X. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. We start off the trailer with one of John Kramer's doctors in the States, though his name is unknown at this time, as he proceeds to tell John that his cancer is worsening and that there is nothing else they can do, before proceeding to recommend a doctor from Norway just outside of Mexico City, by the name of Cecilia Peterson, head of the Peterson Project, who specializes in cancer research throughout the world while using cutting edge innovations in medical treatment, as well as original surgical approaches, which we know thanks to the plot synopsis is all a scam. As the trailer moves on, we seem to get introduced to three of the main players of the scam, two doctors and a young woman who seems to be talking to John Kramer, telling him that the treatment worked for her. They even show the area where the surgery is supposed to take place. John then learns after getting another scan that the tumor was never removed like it was supposed to be, leaving him only months to live, now prompting him to put a game in place against those who have wronged him. As you can see when John is drawing what looks like to be the surgery trap, though the headpiece does remind me of the rack in Saw 3, you see the date 11-7. This movie is based in 2004, so when he's drawing this, it's only a few weeks after Adam and Gordon's game in the bathroom, which seems to be the timeline for the film. Now as you can see in this shot right here, this is the outside of the hospital in Norway where John is supposed to be getting his miracle cure for his cancer. However, in this next shot you see the outside of what looks to be a factory, possibly one of John's buildings. This is where the game is being played. Now it could be the opposite side of the hospital. However, after rewatching multiple times now, I think three things. Number one, John brought these test subjects to the states by hiring these two masked men that you see here that I gathered from the trailer, this shot with guns to abduct them and bring them across the border. We know the bathroom from the original Saw is going to be in this film, which is a part of the nerve gas building from Saw 2. So this game could very well be held there as well, just on the other side of the building, which covers a lot of ground as we've seen in previous films at that location. Number two, John quickly found a space in Norway or Mexico City. He basically is rich and has a ton of resources, so this isn't out of the question. Number three, two separate games are being played and one of them will tie into why the bathroom is back and seems to have some significance, which could be another reason why these masked men are in play. But I will say I feel number one is the best out of all three mentioned. Now I know many fans on first glimpse thought this guy with a flashlight and a gun was Detective Mark Hoffman. However, that is not Costas Mandalore, that is Stephen Brand who seems to be playing a cop in this movie, though that has not been confirmed, my money is that he is going to be playing a detective in Saw X. I can understand why those who have mistaken him for Costas Mandalore, that scene where you do see him in the trailer cut really fast, and a lot of people being that we have not seen Costas for quite some time, might think that Costas is rocking this grizzled out look with the beard, so on and so forth. So I don't blame you guys for thinking that it was Costas Mandalore. I even thought where you see him flashing his light in this foggy room that I have displayed in the middle bottom tier here was actually Adam, but I stand corrected as well as it is clearly Stephen Brand's character. Now what's interesting is you see him roaming through what looks to be the building that this game has taken place because when he turns a corner in the trailer, he runs into someone in a pig face mask before the scene cuts. Now. These scenes may not be the same scene as they may have edited this for the trailer. There is another scene in the trailer though that further proves in my opinion his character is in this building where the game is being played. However, you do seem to hear Costas Mandalore's voice as Detective Mark Hoffman in the shot of the trailer, saying to someone out of all the men you choose to cheat, you choose John Kramer. 
Now, he could be speaking out loud, maybe while having a conversation with a fellow detective about the scam that's going on. Or he could be saying this to Cecilia herself, being she is the one to scam John. You also see this board which looks like a police board with all the photos of the people the Peterson group has scammed, which would imply they are under investigation. You can see they ripped John for 250000 You also see a hand pull off John's picture on the board. In my opinion, this looks like a female hand, possibly Dina Mayer as Allison Carey, Detective Allison Carey. It has been rumored she is going to be making a cameo in Saw X, so this definitely could be her. Now on to the pig face mask wearers that we got in the trailer, as I counted three, possibly four. In these two shots you can see the mask on the left has more wear and tear than the one on the right, and the one on the right's nose is more narrow and the hair is not as pristine as the one on the right side is. Now in the next shot you can see this pig face to the left. The mask's eyes are far more bigger than the previous two that I just showed, which tells me there are three different people in pig face masks. However, the one on the right, though it is hard to tell given how quick the scene cut, the one on the right looks different as well, as it seems the eyes are real small, but again it is tough to tell from this point of view. Another thing to take note of is that the pig face that you see on the left, when they are creeping up behind the doctor in the hallway sequence of the trailer, you see them carrying some type of spear or staff in their hand. This is different because usually when Pigface goes to attack somebody or abduct them, usually it's just a needle with tranquilizer in it. This was refreshing to see and lets me know this is an area in the film that they are going to try to be more aggressive in. In this next shot you can see this is the bathroom trap from the original Saw film and you can see what looks like to be someone's feet dangling in the air with someone in front of them seemingly walking toward them. Now my live stream the other day when reviewing the trailer, me and my buddy Destin from Destination Station took a good look at the shoes and felt they looked familiar, as they looked like the shoes worn by Daniel Matthews in Saw 2. So I went back and pulled some images of his shoes from that film so we can examine. Okay, so as you can see, the shoes are different, as the one in Saw X are black and Daniel's in Saw 2 are blue. But if you look at the pant legs, they seem to be the exact same blue pants that Daniel wore in Saw 2. So this could very well be him, and they just switched up the shoes for this film. Now, I also know Destin believes that this could be Mark Hoffman based on the attire of the person that is standing in front of the person that is dangling in the air but we can't be entirely too sure because we don't see his face. We then see John speaking to someone saying the line, this isn't retribution, this is a reawakening. I believe he is speaking to Stephen Brand's character as shortly after this, you see someone pointing a gun in John's face. And given we've seen Brand's character with a gun in the trailer, I think it's safe to say it's him. Being I don't think Amanda or Hoffman will be pulling a gun on John, being this was before things fell apart in Saw 3. As the trailer comes to a close, you see John sharing an emotional tearful moment with someone. If you look at the hair and green shirt, this is Amanda Young as she is sharing this moment with him. As in the ending shot, you see Amanda appearing, taking her pig face mask off while seemingly stopping Cecilia in her tracks. As you can see, she's wearing the same green shirt the person hugging John is wearing. As honorable mentions, you see Michael Beach's character as the trailer closes, though it doesn't seem he's going to be involved in a game, you don't see him in a trap like everyone else, but we can't be too sure at this point. You also see an explosion take place as it looks like one of the test subjects might have gotten free of their trap or might have passed their test. And last but certainly not least, the shot of Billy outside of what looked like the bathroom trap door was him entering the room the game is being played. After the trailer release, we got this image of Amanda removing her pig face mask and behind her seems like a convenience store maybe, you see a door to the right, and on the wall is a ton of graffiti. 
I'm not saying this can't be Mexico City or Norway, but I just feel this particular shot, as well as just the game in general that is being played, is in the States. This looks like New York to me, but we'll just have to wait and see. But okay, everyone, that is it for this video in the Saw X trailer breakdown. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on the Saw X trailer. Did you enjoy the trailer? And does the trailer make you even more hype for Saw X on September the 29th than maybe you were before the trailer came out? Once again, this is Ashaim, six times YouTube Hard Movie Channel. I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Thank you all for watching.